Hello. Ah, sorry about that. This is Vance Stevens. Uh, I'm in Penang, Malaysia. And uh, this is a uh, the second office hour for um, a, a blended a course on uh, creating and using blended learning classrooms. And uh, I'll show you more about the course here. As I said, it's an office hour, which is actually intended for people to um, join and ask questions and things like that, ask if they have any uh, concerns. But since not everybody just turns up right away for office hours, I try to show a little something of what I'm doing here in uh, that course on uh, creating and using a blended learning classroom. So let me just pop over to what we're up to. Let's see if I come over to, um, this is my, my shared view. Let me just get rid of that uh, thing right there. This is the, okay, so basically, we're here at the second office hour to be held in Zoom. We're, I think this is uh, Learning Together episode 439. It's Monday, February 24th, 2020. And I do these in conjunction with Learning Together, which is uh, learningtogether.net, something that I've been doing since 2010. And now we're in 2020, so about 10 years now. So this is basically the course we're running. If I go to the front page of the course, we can see what we're up to now. So this is its front page. I've noted that the uh, that I've um, created a space where I can show uh, the previously previous recordings and that's here I just clicked on it this is a page where I've made recordings of completed webinars two days ago we found Magali here and uh, two days before that on the 24th 20th of February we had our first uh, webinar I called it a webinar but I've I've done is uh, every week I do a webinar up through March 11th. I think there are actually four webinars. But uh, every other day I do an office hour, and that's what I'm doing right now. So this was the first webinar. It's, you can replay it there. And this is the first office hour, which was two days ago, uh, the 22nd of February. Now, um, this is um, uh, workshop, Workshops 2020. You can go to Workshops 2020. And on Workshops 2020, you can find a sidebar. And on the sidebar, you can find uh, the Past Events Archive, which is there. So if you click there, then you come out on this page where we've recorded our webinars. Uh, there's a table of contents at the top of that page. It shows the upcoming webinars. This is the one we're in right now, the 24th of February. There's another one on the 26th, which is, well, the, sorry, the 24th of February is an office hour, which means that I'm meeting anybody here who wants to come. And the uh, 26th of February is a, an, um, uh, what we call it, we call it a, a webinar, which is where I try to explain to people in this case about what we're going to do for the uh, second week in the course of blended learning, uh, lear using and cre uh, creating and using a blended learning classroom. So that's all taking place in Schoology. And here's Schoology. So Schoology uh, 
tells you that you can get the uh, the videos at the website I just showed you. And I also created a blog post. Let's see, let's have a look at that. The blog post is uh, at that link that I just showed you. And it's, uh, I call it when I wasn't dreaming because I, this actually came to me in the middle of the night when I was obviously lying awake and thinking, but I wasn't dreaming. So uh, this also archives the first two sessions. That is the uh, webcast and the and the uh, office hour, the first office hour, and it talks a little bit about what I was planning to do at all this time. So that's something you can read if you wish, and it's from this link, uh, the blog post that's, our, that's uh, linked to from there. Now, um, oh, sorry, that's this blog post right here. Okay, so there we are. So um, I've added some elements here. First of all, in uh, if you go through to the, the uh, uh, course in Schoology, which is this. Uh, link right there, schoology.com. And well, I mean, you wouldn't really be able to hit this course unless you were uh, ha had subscribed to it. So it has a few weeks listed. There's some activities for people to do. In week one, there's week one, week two, and week three, as you can see on the screen. And week one, if you click on that, you see that we're uh, covering a number of tools in the uh, the workshops, uh, which I gave in Thailand. Now, these workshops were uh, set up to cover a number of the tools that we're using here. And I've put links to these tools uh, in these workshops, in this uh, page. So this page is, let's see if I can pop back to it. Yes, this page is in covers tool, uh, tools covered in the EL Specialist Workshops. Let me pop back into my, um, ah, T is here. Okay, it looks like T is there. So let me see what uh, T has come up with. She's actually submitted a, uh, let's see if I can, I can find T's. I'm not able actually to get to her uh, I'm trying to find where I can get back to the zoom chat. I don't really see it here. Uh, let me see if I can okay so me you know, that's not there. Eh, I don't. I don't want to stop this meeting. I want to get back to it. And what am I doing here? T, how are you? Hi. Ah, you? good. We can hear you. I can't actually find you here. I'm. I'm looking on my screen. I've, well, let me stop the share. Maybe that will help. Can you find it? Okay. There we are. So there's. Uh, I don't see you, T. Are you? You must not be broadcasting your webcam. Oh, okay. Oh, there you are. Now you're there. I just sent you the link that I think I, I don't know what's wrong with it. I mean, I already said it as everyone, everyone with the link can view it. And I send it to some friends and they, they can open it. I mean, they can get access without asking for permission. I just send you through their chat box. The link, I don't know if you can open it. But okay. Well, uh, uh, I don't know about your friends, but we are here. The two of us are here in the in the text chat. I'm just trying to uh, see how I can regulate the audio here. Uh, okay, so I okay, I can hear you now. So great. <laughs> how are you tonight? 
Okay, I just, I thought I'm running late. <laughs> a bit, sorry. A few <laughs> minutes, but it's okay. I was just uh, going through the, uh, the website and showing people what we're doing there. So I saw that you had submitted a, uh, what would you say? You submitted something to yeah. fulfill the first week's assignment, I think. Yeah, I'm, it's the first time I used a screencast. Uh -huh. Because I've been trying to ask my um, IT guy at the university, you know, how, mm -hmm. what, what, what is the software that I can use to do the teaching without using two camera, you know? Uh -huh. And he, oh, wow, <laughs> strange that he, he said he has no idea and he needs some time to figure it out and he never wow. gets back to me. So well, through, through you, this is the answer, you know. <laughs> the, you, you sent us, you, you put something there. Let me, uh, let me just share my screen again and see if I can find it. Um, let's see, share screen. Okay, here's my screen share. And I think this is where we were. Okay, let's see, let's pop over here. Okay, so you can see my screen share. Yep. And we're, uh, I guess, let's see in the materials part. Okay, so, oh, there we are. Okay, so you submitted an assignment somewhere here um, to find it. Uh, probably here, create a poster or a web page. Maybe you've no, seen like it there. Create. I think it's, I put it in some place, create a poster or web page. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm clicking on this. Oh, there we are. Create a poster. This one maybe. And Looks like it. yes, that's it. Okay. So, uh, yes. Okay. Oh, you've, you've submitted it again. So you submitted it two times. Because I wasn't sure whether the link. Uh-huh. Okay. So this looks like the same thing I'm coming up with before. Yeah. So, well, I'll click on that one that you just now submitted. Can you see what I'm doing on my screen? Yes. Okay. I'm really curious to see this. So this is a uh, some kind of video. And I have these choices. So, uh, I've, uh, I've tried it with Cloud Convert and with Video Player. If I try it with video player, let's say, or cloud convert, either one, it says uh, if I if I want to uh, log in and authorize, that means I have to log into my Gmail. This is unusual because normally I don't have to do that. Uh, okay. uh, normally I just log, I just click on it and it opens. So uh, I can choose my account, but if I, as you see, it says. K W E P uh, E B P I A dot net. This will allow that website to add itself to my Google Drive. What is K W E B P I A dot net? Do you know? Um, got no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, K Web Peer hmm? Video Dictionary. YouTube dictionary. Hmm. Um, yeah, I, I just don't know about kwebpia.net. -E uh, I, I wonder why we have to go through that. So if I, um, okay, so if I cancel this. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is, um, download this um, without having to authorize any third parties. Is there some way you can upload it to directly to Google Drive? Yeah, I'm using the Google Drive chat drive right now. Um, but what in what format is your video? Can you share with me? Can you show me this, your screen? You mean on, a, on, on the drive? Um, yeah, I can. 
yeah, let me just find, let's see, manage participants here. I'm going to try to give you uh, share options. Can you see my screen? Yes, I think so. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is the link that I post in my drive. Mm -hmm. And I just share this link to you. Okay. Uh, if you open Actually, that, can, yeah, okay. Shall I get shallable? Okay. Link? Okay. Okay. And it's already some like anyone with a okay. link. Okay. And I copy. Anyone can view, copy the link. Okay. And where should I be posting it? Mm -hmm. uh, can you uh, in your can you open it in your drive and then share it, ah, that okay. it so that anybody with the link can view? You mean if you open it, open that link, the first attempt MP4, ah. that looks good. I'm just kind of uh, confused why it should come through this third party. So you would just paste the, the link right here and then I... I think where you were just now, if you can go to... Uh, good, good afternoon, sir. Oh, that's great. That's Screencast-O-Matic. That's wonderful. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's the first time I tried to use it. Why uh, not? Everyone has a first time. <laughs> yeah, and I just sort of adjusting this one around, you know, like I'm been moving this one screen. I mean, what would mm -hmm. you call this? Like a my face? A thumbnail. A thumb okay, a thumbnail around here because I've been trying to share the screen uh -huh. with my students. I was thinking this can be very useful to start the course that I um, have to handle in every semester. Can be, yeah. Something that, that they can watch and they can see what they need to do. Okay, so if you go back to your Google Drive, can you go there to your Google Drive? So that's the, that's it right there, the, the first attempt right there. Now, hang on a minute, get shareable link. Can you get the shareable link? Yeah, okay. Is that what you did already? Link sharing on, okay. It, anyone can view. Can you click there? Okay, I think that's or sharing. I, I guess it's already shared. That, that's what we want. We want to be able to view it, okay. Uh, go ahead and share settings, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Click there, okay, that's it. Copy that link right there, yeah. Copy that link. Okay. Okay, and then that should be all we really need. So um, maybe you could paste it into the paste it into the um, uh, the comments below that assignment. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, is that is that an assignment or what is that? That's. Okay, if you find the assignment, yeah, okay. Yeah, create a poster or a web page, okay. And then. Hmm. This is where I post things before. Right? The same link, exactly the same link for the, the, okay. All right. That might be different. I'm not really sure. Okay, go ahead and post that and let me see what I can get. Okay. Yeah, it looks like the same. Okay, is that what you did before? Yeah, yes. Okay, let me try sharing my screen. Okay, I'm going to stop your screen share. Okay. I'm going to come over to mine, I guess. Let's see. Um, okay, so I'll come to this one and At least I can see how you did it. So let's see, this is, um, it says, can you please try again? Let me just see if I can refresh that over here. Okay, so let's go and find the last place you tried to share it. Okay, that's the last one, I believe. 
and first attempt, okay, open with, um, okay, at least I trust it now. I, I just asked it, uh, that, that none of those look interesting. Okay, I just clicked something different this time. So I don't know why I can't just uh, open it. Um, this video player for Google Drive looked pretty good before. Uh, maybe I'll just accept it this time. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it says log in and authorize. Okay, so never mind. Since I see that you've done it through, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and authorize it. Okay. I don't really know where this KWE B P I A. It doesn't look like it's doing. It's trying to do too much. It says uh, you trust it. Okay, I'll I'll go ahead and trust it since I see how you've done it there. And uh, let's see what it looks like. Okay. okay. You download it to your computer now. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Really, I'm sorry. Why are you watching this one, right? Um, first of all, I have to say sorry for we not seeing each other in class hours as usual because the corona outbreak. So we're going to do an online class this week. And it happens to be the first week of our semester. So even though we don't get to see each other in first yet, but I'm pretty sure that we're gonna, you know, have some kind of meeting or something that I can see your face as well very soon. So welcome you to the course and I'm gonna be your instructor for the rest of the semester. Let's see. Um, I I think some of you might already know me, but just in case you'd like to know me better, I also want to... You can stop anytime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, I have to move that thumbnail a lot. So this is my Facebook account. Okay. Should I continue this? Just my you can stop, it's okay. <laughs> okay. I won't be shaking much of the Facebook though, because okay. I mainly I use it for... This family and pretty easy stuff yeah but okay uh, let me get back to this the zoom meeting here okay great so this is um, your if it okay so this this is are you planning this for your blended learning class yes okay yes if, if it were me uh, let me see what I can do here. Um, okay, so I'll share my screen. Okay. okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so if it were me, I would start somewhere. I would. Uh, I can't remember. Where did you start with your Facebook page? No, I actually started with that screen. The screencast o -matic. Yeah, okay. So um, I would go to a page where uh, you're going to speak to people. Let's see. Um, I think maybe the one I'm looking for, I've, I'm looking at a bunch of tabs here. Oh, Schoology. Okay, Schoology. Okay, so uh, if it were me, I would start at a page that has exactly what you want on it uh -huh. just pop at the let's see courses okay so there we go so um for example this one i would start here let's say i think i did this a moment ago it's on the first of the video so i might start here and then as i start talking to people that is there and then you could shift over to your uh web page if you want uh, this looks like my my web page okay so um, anyway you could pop over to that and then you could uh, let's say I, I could pop over to my um, my um, I got here 
Oh, this one is, these, these are just some, uh, I'm just looking at web pages I have open. So let me uh, come over to this one. This is the e-learning archive, which is where I'm recording the materials for this course. But I've got a home page here and the e-learning home actually. So if I, if I clicked on that, that would give me then uh, a page that shows about the e-learning course. So if you start, if you line up the web pages on your browser and then you start talking about the, as you're talking, you've got the, the web pages lined up. I know when uh, Screencast-O-Matic comes on, it kind of surprises you and it's also got the uh, Screencast-O-Matic web page up. But what you should do, as soon as you start the Screencast-O-Matic page, you should flip over to a page that you want to, uh, to use yeah. And start from there, and then uh, let's see. Can can you see all the tabs that I have open? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, what I would do if I were broadcasting this and recording it on a Screencast-O-Matic, I would just flip over to the different pages that we have. So um, so it might start there, and then. Um, um, if I wanted, let's see, what are we here? Okay, so I get how to create a, a course, and this is a part of this web page, which um, I would then show people, and uh, et cetera. So I, as I'm talking about the different pages, I would uh, flip to them, I would click on them, and that would come up in the screencast o -Matic. Okay, is the, I got a question. Is the first, the first second that you start recorded, did you start recording? Is that going to be your thumbnail for the video or it's going to random? Um, the thumbnail, it depends on where you put it. So when you put it in YouTube, let's see if I can go to my YouTube page. Um, like in YouTube, you can choose which you want to use as your thumbnail, right? Yes, you can. Did, did you, you, where did you put that recording that you just, you just did? It wasn't in uh, YouTube. Throw it in the drive. Okay. Uh, normally, I put them in YouTube. Okay. Uh, as you can see, when you okay. don't put them in YouTube, you have a, or, or you could also use Vimeo. That's another place I use if you don't like to, to use YouTube. Uh, let's see if I can find my, uh, let's see if I come over to my, where do I go? Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to find my uh, my home page. Uh, normally, I don't have trouble doing this. Let's see. Your channel. Here we go. My channel. Okay. So there's my channel. So if I uh, if I upload to YouTube and I have my channel, let's say this one. Suppose I wanted to to start with that one, then. Okay, so well, actually, that's one that I did with my wife, Bobby, and uh, uh, let me see if I can cue it somewhere. Okay, so that's a much better place to start playing it. You know that you can start your videos um, at uh, this one, for example, can start at one minute twenty five seconds, and if you copy that link where you actually want to start the video. It's at uh, one minute and 25 seconds is 85 seconds into the start of the video. So you can, you can start the video at a, a particular place. Okay. Um, I, let me try that again. Okay, so if I share that and start at one minute and 25 seconds, it adds, a, it adds this to the end of the video, which is a, a t equals 85 that's 85 seconds into the video. So if you want, you can record a video and you can start it a little after, the link you use can start, it can be a little bit after, I don't seem to be able to get rid of this copy, okay. Hmm, okay. Well, anyhow, so it you can actually cue the video to start at a certain time, so it doesn't have to be right at the beginning of the video. Um, but if you upload it to Vimeo or to YouTube, you have a little bit more control over that. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
YouTube has this feature where you can actually share your video and start it uh, at, the, at the space where you got the video right then, or you can play with this. You can, you can add it, so you can say 100 or something like that. And, uh, oh, okay, that's, that's already copied. Let me just, um, so when you, when you paste it, if I want to paste that link, I'm going to copy the video link that I have, that's 85. You can play with it. You can uh, say you started at 100 if you want. Mm -hmm. And you can copy that link. So there I'm going to see if starting at 100, uh, what would that do? Oops, I got a slash there. Okay. Okay, so there's the link starting at 100. <clears throat> so you can have a lot of control over where you start your videos. So for uh, for in your case, I would um, either recreate the video, and it's it's always a good idea, really. I think to uh, how long was your video? Uh, seven minutes. So minutes, okay. Pretty long. <laughs> it's always good to rehearse. Yeah. So if you put on your screen before you begin the tabs that you want to use, just the tabs you want to use, and get rid of all the other tabs. Uh, you can kill all the other tabs, and uh, you know, just like that, just kill all the other tabs, and then get just the tabs you want to use, and then you can, knowing where you want to. Uh, speak when you start the uh, the screen recorder then you can just as it begins you know it goes three two one you can go to the tab you want to begin with and when it comes on you can start speaking okay. and um, then just move to the different tabs that you want to use that you want to show people When I do it myself, I often record many versions because I often don't like the first version. And, uh, and that's a good learning, uh, a good experience for you as well because uh, what you've just shown me is imperfect, which is great because you can perfect it. So you can make it much better. Mm -hmm. Only seven minutes. How long should a video be around, I mean, to get the attention you know, people still stay with you so far? A uh, short, yeah. a few minutes. <laughs> yeah. So I, I didn't play your whole video, but what are you yeah. trying to show them exactly? No, I just want to get the new students who started the course with me to know that it's supposed to be follow me on Facebook and how to notice that the message is for them. And I'm going to be using... Uh, share drive all the way through the semester and also Google Classroom, stuff like that. Okay, uh, you, you, know, you could break it into two videos. You could say that one is about the shared drive and how to notice it's for them. And then you could say, see my next video. And then you could go to another video and show them how okay. to um, uh, connect with you on Facebook. Yeah. I think I still got the sense of teaching in the classroom, you know, like I try to get everything done in one time. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, then it's going to be a little longer and that, that's also possible. It's okay. Um, you know, so... Um, you, yeah, but it's better this way. It's the better the way you suggest it. Like break it into parts and, you know... Yeah, you, cool. yes, and, and your portal page and do you have a portal page or are you just, uh, how, are, how are you setting this up in your blended learning environment? Do you have um, a page? Now my university is going to have one platform. They just started to set it up and I'm going to supposed to be talking with the director of the university tomorrow. About, yeah. So in your, in your portal page, you would have your students, um, you would say, 
click here to see how to uh, do, uh, I think the first part was get my attention in Facebook, or what was the first part, the one we just recorded? So you have two, you have two links that your students can do. Mm -hmm. the, what was the first one? The one we just saw? You mean the, vi the video that you just played? So I said it again? You mean the video that you just played? Which one? The video users page. Uh, I'm just trying to remember what we just saw. You had two parts. One was uh -huh. about Facebook. Oh, you mean the Facebook and the screencast? I'm not sure whether it's the screencast, but yeah, one, one of it is the Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, well, you, you just said you had to do two things. So the first thing, you would have two links that your uh, portal people would set up for you. Mm -hmm. And here again, you can also, uh, what I do, uh, with, uh, you know, I mean, the, the um, embassy in Bangkok wanted to have a QR code that would go to the link for this page for uh -huh. my session. And so I told them to go to, let me just find it for you. I told them to link it to, uh, okay, if I link over, come over here, I told them to link it to, uh, not the workshops in Thailand, but I set up a special page for it, learning how to create and use a blended learning environment. So I, I created this page and I told them to link it to this page. So this is, this is a PB Works page. You can have many different possibilities. Uh, one thing you could do is you could create a Schoology page if you want. It's a little bit more complicated than making a a wiki page like this, or you could even have a Google Drive page. So if you set it up in Google Drive where you would have a table of contents, let's say. So the nice thing about that is that you would tell the university to send it to your page. So when I did the, um, uh, when I had the embassy try to find a place to enter my courses, I told it to, I told them to come to this page. I, I created this page for them. And uh, then I, I put everything I wanted to happen at this page. So if your university, you can send them to one of these, um, your portal page, which you have control over. Otherwise, you're having to constantly go back to the university and ask them to adjust your page, which it's much better if you can have one place that you can send them to. And then in that place, you tell the students to click here and here. And um, in a way, my Schoology page is, well, I don't know. Uh, the, when the embassy created this, I, uh, it, this, this page tells people to go to the Schoology course. So when they click there, they, they come to the Schoology course and they log on. They go on to the Schoology course. So I didn't start them at the Schoology course. I told them to. I told everyone to come to this page, and uh, uh, and and in that page, I have all the instructions for how to reach my materials. So, and the Schoology course, I also um, the Schoology course is for interacting with the participants. I don't know if you're. Um, if yeah, you're... because I've been checking your PB page mm -hmm. and it's the um, school logic play, um, play page and it's something like the the first one came up was the PB, you know? Mm -hmm. And this yeah. one sort of come after to take all the assignment and stuff. Not sure. Yes, that would be this one, I think. Yeah. The Create Your Blended Learning Classroom course. So it's part of another page. It's something I did with the embassy. If I click on home here, it's part of uh, workshops 2020. So 
if people go there, they reach the workshops that it is for the embassy. And at the very top of that, I put some quick links for e-learning, which goes to the page I just showed you. So if you click there, you can see, you, you can come to this course. Now when I, um, when the embassy wanted to know where they should send people to the enroll in my course, which is just on the 8th of February. So um, it was only uh, a few, you know, two weeks ago, I had to, this, to decide on a place to send them. And so I, cr I created this play page, which then I developed to uh, tell people how to get into the Schoology course. Mm -hmm. And I think most people probably came through this page to reach the Schoology course, because that's where the information is to enroll in Schoology. And Schoology is just a place where um, I, um, I've got the interaction set up. So, um, so once they're here, they can interact with me because in the, in this online environment, we have to in interact in online. We can't meet face to face. So, um, we're, we're now in week one, but before I set this up, I had all these uh, discussions and things like that. So that's really where we've been meeting. Um, and a, a couple of days from now, we'll be going into week two. But right now, we're in week one. And uh, one thing I just set up here uh, that wasn't here before is if you have a question and want to ask it, I set up this discussion. And this discussion, if you open it, I just did. Okay, so it tells you there's a place called Yo Teach. Um, and you can go there and ask questions if you like. I'm actually supposed to be watching this right now. Uh, let me see if I can find where this place. No, yeah. Nope, that was not it. It, this is it right there. So there's a Yo Teach page where if anybody, uh, you, have, you have to put in a password. The password is blended. Okay, so let's see. That. Whoop, wrong password. Oh no. Bummer. Okay, so go back again. So I just, when, it, when it doesn't, when you put in the wrong password, it puts in the wrong thing. Okay, so I mean, it just. Okay, so B L E N D E D. Okay, so I put in blended there, and that should work. So that's just a place where I set up uh, a space for people if they if they have questions they can put things in. So that's the latest um, discussion. If you have a question, okay. you can ask it here or you can go to that space and ask your question. So this is all trying to interact with people in the course. So I've got all this linked. Uh, when you're doing your introductory video, you have to think about where do you want people to go to find out more about the course. So I've got my portal page, the one I set up right here. That's it. So I've got the portal page which is um, the Create Your Blended Learning Classroom. That one right there. That's the one you came to, and it tells you how to get into the Schoology page that's set up. But what you're trying to do is, is you're starting at your uh, university page, and then they're going to send people to your video. Mm -hmm. So I'm suggesting you might want to have more than one video. Mm -hmm. If you have more than one video, you could set up a page like this one that would, um, that would be your page. And PB Works is not a bad place to do it. And Schoology is also another nice place you could use. So PB Works is and another page you could use is Google Docs. So if you send people to a Google Docs page, you can also have all kinds of links from that page. 
So that's what I would call your portal. Okay. So you want to drive people to your portal where you can make changes and you can make links that tell them what you want them to do. So what I have here is two different portals. One is the, the, uh, the Create Your Blended Learning course. That one right here. That, that one right here is uh, the one that you came to to find out what to do to join this course. Mm -hmm. And uh, if your students, when they when they go to the university site, um, they are you going to set up activities for them on that site? Uh, no, I don't think that one is mainly about the university things. I think they now trying to figure out just one. I don't know what they're going to use just for online learning only. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, then, then you should probably try and create a page. This is getting, you know, in the three weeks of this course, the first week is something that you've done already. That's good. You know, the idea, my idea was that you should try to put something online and see how it goes. And mm -hmm. from that, you learn a lot. So you're you're learning right now. You've got a, a place. You got you you've got something that students can view. But what can they do once they viewed it? So what you really need is you need a kind of a portal, a place that, that the university can send your students to, where they can see your video, and they can do whatever else you want them to do there. Yeah. And what I've got in PB works is um, I've got this page, the, the create your blended learning classroom page. And then uh, here I've got a lot of things for people to do. Um, there's a table of contents here. When you, if I, I'll just go and edit this page, see if I can find the edit here. here. So with when you when you're an author of a page, you can edit a page, and you you can come here and you can uh, you can insert. Let's see. I just, so what I did was I inserted a table of contents, and that table of contents is basically what you see here. So sorry, cancel that. So the table of contents is here. I just inserted a table of contents. And I'll just cancel that. And this is the table of contents. And the table of contents finds the headings in this page. This is one heading. What's this course about? It's an H1 heading. And it's the first thing in the table of contents. Yeah. How to join this first. This course is also an H1 heading. And enroll in the Schoology course is an H2 heading. So if you needed some help with this, I would be quite happy to help you. That's, that's my job here. You see uh, how to join the course, enroll in the Schoology course, and that, that uh, uh, how to join the course is an H1 heading, enroll in the Schoology course is H2. I think quick instructions is possibly an H3. So these headings, yeah, these headings are uh, how to set this up is something I could explain to you if you wanted. But that's working with PB Works. Now, if you want to know more about PB Works, let's go back to the Schoology course. Um, if I go to uh, back to the home page, and uh, I think it's in week one materials. I did, I've done something since uh, last time we did this. The tools covered in the, ELS, in the English language specialist workshops, if you click there, identify and use the tools. Uh, if you wanted to find more about the, uh, the free portal spaces, I've added a link here. So the link goes back to my workshops where I discuss this with my students. And here it is. So, so you can learn more about PB Works. And of course, if you do this in the next few weeks, you could get me to get involved in 
showing you how to do it. So this is setting up a PV workspace, and this is uh, um, basically it's just setting up a space. Um, somewhere here, I've got a link to a more elaborate course I set up, a more elaborate explanation. Um, I don't see it right here, but it's uh, I'll, I'll just find it very easily for you. Um, okay, so it's uh, I should have a link to this place back here. It's um, how to working with with wikis like this one. Okay, so this is um, create a wiki. This is more information about how to create the PBRX wiki. So, um, okay, create your wiki, for example. Okay. So this this is um, I, I I could walk through this with you if you wanted and help you in a more direct way to set up your course if you want to do it in PB and in PB works or if you want to do it in Schoology I can do that but what you need to have is you need to have a a place where uh, your university sends your students to see what you've developed for them mm -hmm. and decide if that's the, the three places I recommend are PB works Mm -hmm. or Schoology or Google Docs okay. or Google Classroom is another place that a lot of people are using so you could use any of those four spaces if you wanted to choose one of those you should have your university send your students to those spaces and in that space you put a link you put links to your videos mm -hmm. where you tell them what you want them to do right yeah I'm happy to help you. I'm uh, um, available until the 11th of March. <laughs> if you okay. want some help with that, you can just uh, we can yes. we can pursue it. Yeah, that's this is a good idea. So tomorrow I can we can have a small meeting. Just I think three or four staff. They just they've been gather some ideas from other teachers as well. So mm -hmm. we're gonna sit down and talk and see what's what we have in hand. You know. And see, yeah, it, I would definitely suggest all these things and see, like, it would be nice if the other uh, teacher can sort of use the same portal like you say, but it's okay to be different. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. After tomorrow meeting, I think we're going to go a little bit bigger to mm -hmm. the others who like interested in doing the same thing. Yeah. And see the ideas. Okay. In, in my experience, uh, working through many places well where I've worked I've, I've worked I've been a teacher for 40 years uh, obviously not all of that 40 years we were using technology like this but a lot of places buy or create uh, a platform where teachers can build their courses and my suggestion is that you use that platform but you get the platform to link to your place to your special place and there are two reasons for that one is that what you put on their platform you don't get to keep if that platform disappears all your stuff is lost yeah. if you create your things in your own space then you get to keep all that it, it moves with you wherever you go and the second uh reason is that the platform that they develop might not have all the tools that you want whereas you can in your own space you can create uh, tools that are consistent for you that is your um, uh, what I've created here for example is something that I I can I, I know it's going to be there uh, a year from now so and I can develop materials here and I I can, like if I make a screencast-o-matic and put it in my PB workspace, 
it's going to be there. The same, uh, the same thing will be there. It won't, it won't disappear just because the platform changes. So, yes, I'm, I'm a little concerned about using Google because everything is based on Google Education right now. So, I don't. In Google know. Classrooms. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, Google Classrooms would be a good, good choice as well. And if you want, I can help you with that. So, uh, it's not a space that I use personally, uh, but. Uh, as far as I can check from my student, there have been some of them already known Google Classroom since mm -hmm. high school. Mm -hmm. yeah, so Google Classrooms. Uh, I would be happy to work with you in Google Classrooms as well because I don't know it that well, but then I would learn from you. So um, I just haven't used it personally. I just haven't felt the need. I, I've looked at it and I, I've been in, involved with other people using Google Classrooms. We tried to use it with an, EV, an EVO session we just set up. Um, but uh, the spaces I use are ones that work well for me. But on the other hand, if you want to, if you want to go to Google Classrooms, you could um, invite me to your course and I could have a look and I could help you set that up and also within Google Classrooms, you can also link out to other spaces that I'm suggesting. So mm -hmm. many ways to put these things together. It's a, it's a tool set that you want to put together that helps you create your uh, online environment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yep. If you want me to help you, I just happen to be available here. Uh, you know, through the middle of March, and I'm quite happy to come online and give you a hand with whatever you're trying to do. Okay. So uh, yeah. keep me keep me informed, and uh, yeah, I'll uh, uh, after your meeting tomorrow. You can uh, we're we're meeting in a webinar two days from now, okay. uh, but still you can come there and you can. You can, uh, the webinar is just to in, uh, introduce people to digital tools. You know, the, the things that I'm doing right now with the course, what you've done by putting something online that um, it's something that shows you and me what you can do and helps you to come to grips with Screencast-O-Matic, which I hope you found very useful. It's something that you, that, you know, it, as you get better with it, you can use it to communicate with your students and show them what you're, you can do uh, screen captures from your computer and you can show them what you want them to do. So it's a really nice tool. So it helps you to get conversant with that tool. And that's, you've actually accomplished the first week of the course. And the second week of the course, digital storytelling is basically a means of uh, you're uh, using more tools. You don't really have to do that if you don't want. You could, you could, uh, your digital story could be how I'm doing my course, for example. So we could put together a digital story, which is what you want your students to do in your course. That's just fine. And that be, it, it doesn't, it, it really doesn't matter. I mean, I'm, I'm just developing a framework that I think will help people to explore tools. And, but I really want you to adapt it to your context. So working with you would be just great as far as, uh, you know, helping you to accomplish your goals in, uh, in this thing that the uh, Relo Bangkok set up for us, this uh, framework here. Okay. So if you want to take advantage of it, I'm quite happy to work with you. Yeah, I think definitely will uh, out there. Just, it's about, I mean, it's kind of perfect timing that my university want to start doing something like that and then getting ideas and stuff from, from whoever we can. <laughs> yeah, and you can bring more people into the course if you want. You could get other people to interact here as well. So I'm really at your disposal for the next couple of weeks. So if you want me to help, I'm quite happy to do that. Okay. I think it will keep you post done. <laughs> okay. Yep. That's fine. So, okay. 
Well, uh, I see we this this uh, session has gone for an hour, so I'll probably cut it off now because I've uh, uh, I was just explaining before you came uh, what I was doing with the course, and um, it's very nice of you to come and uh, show me what you're doing, and we'll continue working together if you like. Okay, should I leave now so you can continue the rest? I'm not continuing. I'm saying goodbye. Okay. Uh, this is the uh, 24th of February, 2020. And uh, I'm talking with T here from Northern Thailand. And I'm Vance Stevens in Penang. And I don't even know if I recorded this. I don't, oh, yeah, I did. Now the recording is going. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to stop the recording now. Bye, everybody. <laughs>